Hi everyone. Let us going to see the topic about case study in queuing theory. First we should know what is queuing theory. Queuing theory is the mathematical study of waiting lines or queues. In queuing theory a model is constructed so that the queue lengths and waiting times can be predicted. Queuing theory is generally considered a branch of operations research because the results are often used when making business decision about the resources needed to provide a service then why is queuing theory important you should know capacity problems are very often in industry and one of the main drivers of process redesign need to balance the cost of increased capacity against the gain of increased productivity and service queuing and waiting time analysis is particularly important in service systems large cost of waiting and of lost sales due to waiting for example you just uh, imagine hospital patients arrive by ambulance or by their own accord one doctor is always on duty more or more patients seeks help which implies longer waiting times next we are going to see about history of queuing theory The theory of queuing system was developed to provide models for forecasting behaviors of systems subject to random demand. The first problems address concern congestion of telephone traffic. In 1909 Erlang developed the paper that is the theory of probabilities and telephone conversation. Erlang observed that a telephone system can be modeled by Poisson customer arrivals and exponentially distributed service times next we are going to see about interest of queuing system in this we are having totally three categories traffic control planning facility dimensioning in traffic control we will see the topic about communication networks air traffic etc in planning we will see about manufacturing systems computer programs etc facilitating dimensioning means we will see about factories and so on Now I am going to solve this case study by using design thinking concept only. First we should know what is design thinking. Design thinking is a design methodology that provides a solution based approach to solve problems. It's extremely useful in tackling complex problems that are ill defined or unknown. By understanding the human needs involved, by reframing the problem in human centric ways, by creating many ideas in brainstorming sessions and by adopting a hands-on approach in prototyping and testing understanding these five stages of design thinking will empower anyone to apply the design thinking methods in order to solve complex problems that occur around us in our companies in our countries and even on the scale of our planet In this we are having totally five stages in design thinking first one empathize second one define third one ideate fourth one prototype fifth one test first we are going to see about empathy empathy means it's a problem statement problem means it's not only for the customer or service manager the server both are both are facing the problems first i will explain you the problems for a customer why does it always feel to us like all other queues moving faster why which queue should i take where shall i open how long do i have to wait these are the questions arises to the customer likewise for the server Prob- now i'm going to explain about problems of a store manager just imagine when and why do we get queues what can i do about it these are all the questions arising for a server next i'm going to explain the problem statement i'm going to generalize totally 5 point 10 points for you not 5 points in the first page we are going to discuss about 5 points in the another page we are having five more points first one is magnetic base stanchions second one publish estimated wait times third one know your accounts fourth one in queue merchandising fifth one is extra long porto portable retractable belts then next one 
Sixth one is a single line multi server queue configuration. Then seventh one pre scheduled waits. Then eighth one call forward queuing. Ninth one virtual queuing. Tenth one directional signage. Next we are moving to the second stage in design thinking that is define. It is it just see the picture. It's a theater. A line of people at the box office. It's dangerous. It's a queue of people waiting to get into the theater. The line of movement before something happens. So the line before someone speaks or a lighting change take place or a sound effect. Next, I'm going to explain about hospital. In a typical healthcare center, it consists of one or more service counters with one or more servers where patients are entertained. Mostly queues formed at healthcare facilities at ubiquitous and cause a lot of frustration as prolonged delay in services are observed. Next one we are going to discuss about toll plaza. Due to ever increasing traffic, the road capacity has to be increased to accommodate different configuration vehicle dimensions. Toll roads needs huge financing to construct a safe, effective, durable road network. The toll booths are planned on the basis of queuing area. Next we are going to see about bank. Long queues are a big alarm sign for banks and also for the customers. They explain the quality of service and also companies initiative towards making customer experience more favorable. In retail banking industry, queuing remains one of the most common reasons for customer disgust. Despite technological advances such as online and mobile banking, customers still complain about their bank. Next we are going to see about the third stage, IDH. Now I am going to discuss about toll plaza. Toll financing is one of the techniques in which revenue collected from the road users for the service provided by them. This is in turn results in development in queues at particular junction wherein the toll booths are erected. Long queue could lead to increase in travel time which is drawback of road users. Hence, toll should be designed and planned in such a way that minimum time would be wasted in the queuing area. In present study, road inventory, traffic volume, space mean speed, arrival rate, time headway and service rate are analyzed. Next, we are going to see the fourth stage, prototype. The major steps involved in the present study are first one, road inventory of the selected road section. Again, one traffic volume count as per IRC, traffic sensors on non urban roads. Third one to find out the velocity approaching vehicles by space mean speed. Fourth one to find out the inter arrival rate of vehicles by taking time headway. Then, fifth one to find out the service rate provided by the servicing system at the toll booth. And sixth one to analyze the performance of toll booths from the collected data. For this, we have to form the queue discipline. A queue discipline is a parameter that explains show the customers arrive at a service facility. The various types of queue disciplines are first one, first in, first out, that is shortly named it as FIFO. Second one, first in, last out, that is FILO. Third one, service in random order, that is FILO. Fourth one, priority scheduling. For this, we have to structure the queue model. Traditionally, traffic flows are modeled empirically using origin destination matrices. One of the most important equations in traffic flow theory is that relating between traffic flow, traffic density and traffic speed which is given by traffic flow is equal to traffic density into traffic speed. These fundamental parameters of traffic flow can be used as inputs in developing appropriate queuing models. Queuing models are often referred to as the candle notations consisting of several symbols N slash G slash 1. I will tell you one by one what is M, what is G and what is 1 represents. The first symbol describes the arrival rate of a traffic into the system. The second for the service rate provided by the system to the vehicles. 
while a third indicates the number of servers in the system. Now I am taking toll plaza, so I am going to consider only the multi server system. Next we are going to see the last stage, test. A detailed study was carried out to analyze the performance of a toll booth. The following conclusion was drawn from the observed data. It was found that flow rate remained constant on both directions 375 and 345 vehicle per hour. The inter-arrival time between two vehicles was found out to be 10 seconds on both the directions. The waiting time in the queuing area was found out to be 10 seconds as general. The flow theory diagram reveals that as the density increases, the effective speed decreases on that road section. Thank you.